Woe is she, reading number 15. Will you please pray with me? Lord, thank you so much for this day that you've given us. Thank you for everything that you've given us. We have so much that is ours to be good stewards of, including our time, our energy, our money. I pray that you will continue to order our steps and lead us into order. You are a God of order. Your ways are higher than our ways. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. You know better than we do. Let us follow you. Lead us out of darkness, out of chaos, into the light, into order, into peace. And I pray that we will be so motivated to be so obedient and stop trying to figure everything out. Just let us follow your lead. And I know that you will lead us into rest. There's a rhythm to your creation. There's a rhythm to your design. And you have designed everything in such a way that we will replenish and renew and gain strength to keep going. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's reading is Hebrews chapter 4. A Sabbath rest for the people of God. Therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. For we also have had the gospel preached to us just as they did, but the message they heard was of no value to them because those who heard did not combine it with faith. Now we who have believed enter that rest just as God has said. So I declared an oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. And yet his work has been finished since the creation of the world. For somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in these words. And on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. And again in the passage above, he says, they shall never enter my rest. It still remains that some will enter that rest, and those who formerly had the gospel preached to them did not go in because of their disobedience. Therefore God again set a certain day, calling it today, when a long time later he spoke through David, as was said before, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not have spoken later about another day. There remains then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work, just as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one will fall by following their example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before his eyes, before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Christ is greater than the Old Testament priesthood, Jesus the great high priest. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14 Therefore since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens Jesus the son of God let us hold firmly to the faith we profess for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are yet was without sin let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. That's it for today. May we, by the grace of God, go willing, obedient, engaged, surrendered, hydrated, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. I love you dearly. Let's do this again.